Jeff Fulbrook said it best. I've been waiting for this one. Inside, and a beauty! Hall running free! Reese Hall inside the 10! He's gonna score! What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Talking Jets with Tigo. My name is Tigo, and guys, I'm not going to do any announcements. I'm going to get right into it. If you want to read any of the announcements, they're always right down here. Hit the subscribe button, all that stuff. All the links are in the description, but guys, so as a lot of you may know, and if some of you may not know, I am a stay-at-home dad uh, taking care of our four-month-old, and um, right around the mid-afternoon, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock time, uh, is finally when I get to get like a little bit of a break. That's when we have like scheduled, like he's got to be a little bit alone. And that's when I start doing the dishes. And that's the time when I catch up and I watch the press conferences and stuff like that. And I go on Twitter and uh, I can watch all that stuff. And man, I got fired up after watching the Jeff Ulbrich press conference. I haven't even seen the Mike LaFleur one yet. Um, but I, I had to make this video because Jeff Ulbrich, at the beginning of the year, we were vilifying him. We were ready to crucify him. And I was a part of that group. I wasn't ready to fire him yet, but I was really close. I was like half a bad quarter of defense away from ready to fire this guy and punt him to the moon. And that would have been the wrong decision. Jeff Ulbrich has, since week three, turned this defense around and have them playing, not just because of the talent that's on the roster, but has them playing at an elite level. Top 10 defense, in my opinion. And he was asked about last year's game against the New England Patriots. And if you guys haven't seen the press conference, it's all over Twitter. It's obviously on the New York Jets YouTube channel. Go watch it because I think his answer and the way that he talks about like his situation and what happened last year is very telling. And the most important part was when he was talking about it because somebody, I think it was Connor Rogers or I think it was Connor Rogers. I don't remember. Asked him like, what do you remember about like last year's game? He's like, well, I remember them having being 40 points on us and still taking shots downfield. Um, and then he, he, he goes on with his answer and then he pauses and then his whole demeanor changes. Like he 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 was kind of laughing and and joking around and 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 trying to to bat off some of the negativity from last year's game against New England. And then he pauses, his whole demeanor changes, everything about the way that he was answering the question changes, and he like looks at whoever was asking the question and doesn't look them in the eyes. He looks past their eyes and into their soul, it looked like, and said, I've been looking forward to this one. Guys, I know that a lot of people didn't believe in this New York Jets team, and I'm not just talking about Jets fans because there's a whole group of people that didn't believe in the New York Jets uh, going into this year. I did. I predicted that we would be 5-2 and two going into Week 8. I predicted that we were going to win this game against New England because I didn't believe in this New England team while the rest of the media did. And this isn't me trying to cash in any receipts or anything like that. But it's just going to show that like this team, what Joe Douglas has built and, and what he's created here is a group of men that are willing and wanting to fight tooth and nail every snap to the end. And Jeff Ulbrich, Mike LaFleur, and Robert Sala have changed the culture and they did not forget what happened last year. What we're about to witness on Sunday is an absolute slaughter. I would not watch this game with your kids. I would not watch this game with your wife. I would hide your kids, hide your wife, because they're snatching everybody out here. Jeff Fulbrick is going to have these guys ready to kill people. And I'm here for it. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm hype. And last but not least, go Jets.